Good day again. This is Ember Jackson, Senior Pastor, First United Methodist Church in Tupelo. We're continuing our devotion series regarding time management, if you will, or spending time with God. We have been uplifting the gospel from the Gospel of Math, Mark, I'm sorry, the Gospel of Mark, various passages where Jesus is demonstrating how important it is to meditate, to spend time in prayer. I'd like to continue that emphasis by sharing from the Gospel of Mark, the 14th chapter, beginning at verse 32. Hear now these words. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be distressed and anguished and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, that the hour might pass from him. Jesus and the disciples are gathered in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus knows that his earthly life is about to end and that he will be betrayed by Judas Iscariot. He knows that all of the disciples will abandon him. He knows that he will suffer a painful death and humiliation and death even on a cross and he will be buried in a borrowed grave. During this time of distress, this time of trial and tribulation in his life, Jesus could have changed the scenario and even prayed to his father that this cup would pass from his lips. Jesus was pained, and the Bible says where I just read that he was grieved even unto death. But finally Jesus says, not my will, Father, but your will be done. In your life... Perhaps you're facing some difficulty. In your life, perhaps you're facing some trial or tribulation. In your life, things may seem unbearable. But through it all, God wants us to depend on him. God wants us to follow the example of his son, Jesus Christ, who when he faced a crisis, rather than trying to handle it all by himself, Jesus went to God the Father in prayer. In your life and in my life, whenever we are facing difficulties, whenever trials come, whenever obstacles stand in our way, whenever we feel like we cannot make it, God, I believe, wants us to follow the example of Jesus Christ and go to God in prayer. God not only hears prayers, but God is able to answer prayers. And so today, whatever you're going through, whatever trials or tribulations, whatever difficulties are in your life or in my life, I invite us all to go to the Lord in prayer. May we pray, please. Almighty and everlasting Father, come now, touch us. Fill us with thy Holy Spirit. Allow us to be so full of you that we don't have room for anything else. Send your Holy Spirit unto us, dear God, so that when we leave this place, we will leave it in a better place than when we came in. Dear God, bless and watch over us. This we ask in thy name. Amen. <laughs> 